Okay, Jim. This is um, a setup that I've just made to give you an indication of how to use the dial indicator to find the centre of uh, a piece of material, be it square, rectangular, uh, flat on its uh, face, uh, a large circle. Um, and the idea is that you have a dial indicator and um, I've set this up already uh, for the film um, as you can see I've lined up the center of this uh, round uh, faceplate for the tag um, almost well by eye just by eye in the center of the spindle and it's it's just placed there I haven't clamped it down or anything it's just placed there now um, what I've done is I if you can see the dial indicator I hope you can as I wind the dial indicator up it goes uh, it go it drops off and as I wind it down I set the dial indicator so that as I wind it down it it reaches zero and then it starts to drop down again now now when you find that point where the the changeover takes place that is basically the center <coughs> I then dialed I then moved the dial the the um, the screen to zero and what I was telling you about about the uh, rocking motion was um, I disconnect the belt so that it just makes it freer uh, and if you look at this you'll see that the rock in motion does the same thing as when I'm going down past the high point now the idea is that when you rock it across like that you've then found the parallel part uh, because you're swinging in a, a radius um, you have to find the parallel part now once you've done that um, uh, I've got it set uh, at zero on my scale on the z-axis uh, what you should do is to as soon as you reach that point where going down and coming back up you get the reading at the highest point then you need to just um, use your stop for the quill okay um, that that means that when you take the quill up to turn this 180 degrees uh, so that it doesn't hit anything uh, you turn it 180 degrees and when you bring the quill down again to the stop you've actually found the uh, the other side of the center okay in the horizontal center now you don't have to do that but it helps a little bit um, okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wind this back up so that it's out of the way so that I can spin it 180 degrees now it may turn out that it's going to touch the it's going to touch the side on the other side but I can see right from the start that when the stylus comes over here it's at least a quarter of an inch away from from this center okay from the quill center so that means that the whole billet is over that way okay so I'm gonna turn it approximately I'm gonna turn the x-axis approximately um, uh, I would say about uh, 150 and we'll see what happens there so that's one two three that's 150 I'll leave it on 10 okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my zero again okay now I'm still away but I'm about an eighth of an inch away now so what I've done is I've halved the difference okay so I come down to my zero on my scale and that would be your stop and once I reach there 
I then move the dial indicator. So in, in my case, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slide it along. I hope you can see this. I'm going to slide it along until my dial or my stylus gives me a reading. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just rock it again. Okay. And I'll put it on to zero. And then... Right, I'm on zero, and I'm at zero on my z-axis. So then I'll take it up again, and swing it around to this side again, and without moving anything, wind it down to zero. In your case, it'll be to the z-stop. Okay. So I'm still at least a, probably an eighth away. So I've moved over that way now. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind it in about a 60 or 50. About 50. And then adjust i know this is seems to be a, a lot of work but this is how it works and i zero that again and just rock it and it's pretty close at this stage i can just i can just keep on doing this and i'm gradually going to get closer to the center. I wind it down. Now I'm starting to get a reading. Okay. So I take it down to zero, which is right now at zero. And I'm rocking it and I'm, I'm too Two thousand minus. So that's pretty close, eh? It's within a, a thou of center. So what I'll do now is I'll just move the, the table because now I'm getting a reading on both sides. I can move the table just a little bit to compensate for the off center. Because I'm only about three thou off center now. So I'll bring it to one and three zero and rock it and make sure that the rock it goes to the zero and 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 back up again and then I'm at zero there so I'll climb up okay and wind it round here I should be pretty close uh, you might see, see now the, the needle is starting to move. And I've still got, yeah, it's a little bit out that way now. So I'm at 119, 90, 80. Uh, and here I come up to Z axis at zero again. And then I start to rock it, okay, without touching anything. So that indicates that I'm one and a half thou off. So I'm going to move it just about a thou. Uh, can you see that? That's on the zero. And I'm on the zero axis. I'll wind it down and make sure that you see that? You see that? I found the high spot. I'm I reset that at zero. Bring it up. Turn it 180, making sure it doesn't touch anything. Over to that side. You can't see this side, but I can only explain it to you. 
and you have to take my word for it. But when I wind it down to zero on the Z axis, coming down, that's that. And if I swing it, okay, that is right on the center of that round billet. Okay, the, the center line of the spindle, of your mill spindle, is right on the center line of that, equally spaced around that diameter. And that's how you do it. And you don't have to, I'll just show you again. Um, you just bring it to, to there. It doesn't take all that long. I mean, I can do it in, in, in five minutes. And you can probably do the same once you get to get the hang of it. So I'll put it down to zero. And just so that you can see what I mean by the rocking motion. You see? That, I have found that edge is square. That's the highest point. Of, of that diameter if it goes around here you're not getting the right diameter because because when you go around the other side you have to go to the opposite opposite side so that's how you zero you do this rocking motion and um, uh, you have to sometimes you may have to fiddle with it to get the stylus in the right place i'll move this round so that you can see where the stylus is come on come on and as you can see that's where the stylus